So today um some unexpected news happened. Um my pet fish passed away and we me my and my two sisters Rachel and Moore we just had a funeral for it. Um I'm wearing black. Um, I made a cross out of two sticks and me and Rachel helped, I mean, Rachel helped tie them together into like a little bow. Um, and then Laura picked a rose from our garden in our backyard. And um, I dug a little hole in the backyard and um, luckily I found a plastic box in like my mother's cabinet. I put a tissue and I asked my dad, can you just take the fish, I don't want to see him like this, and put him into the box. Um, he did. So he put it in a box and then Rachel brought the box out to the backyard and we had a funeral, funeral out there. Um, I said a couple last words and then we put him in the ground. Um, I just hope he swims on in heaven and I'm just, I just want to give thanks to God that he gave me that fish at that time. I named the fish Rosie, R-O-S-E-Y, because um, I was in the hospital at the time and that's what they were calling me. They thought that's what my name was with the Y at the end and I wasn't doing too well there so I've always wanted a pet fish and um, my mom got me it just so it could cheer me up. Um, it did bring a lot of joy. I loved um, seeing it swim. I love seeing it hide behind the Santa statue. I am just sad that he's gone. Um, I might get another fish someday. I just don't feel like I could handle it right now. He was such a beautiful blue color. I just want to say that it was a joy um, bringing him to go see Santa, take a picture with Santa, um, picking him out with my mom. I picked it a blue color because that's my favorite color. And um, it was good timing that my sister wanted to put a little mini camera into the um, fishbowl like to film him swimming underwater so at least I can look back on that and yeah um, he was just swimming irregular this week or for a couple days and he wasn't doing too well and then eventually he laid still and he was um, losing color so that's when I knew and if you like tapped on the glass um, normally he would move but he didn't eat today he wasn't behind the Santa statue um, he was at the top like trying to get air and I don't know like, what happened he might have been old I don't know how long he was there at the fish store for but um, I just want to say swim on I will see you again one day um, and yeah just thank you for all the joy you brought me um, you were a nice present for my mom when I wasn't in a good place and I just want to I'm thankful um, yeah, um, I just, I don't do too well with loss. I know it's just a pet fish, but he was a part of the family and I'm gonna miss him in my room at that spot near the mirror. Um, there's gonna be a spot missing because I put the stuff downstairs and I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna put the stuff downstairs in the basement so I don't be reminded. And I just wanna say, I'll see you again in heaven one day and um, swim on and I'll be praying for you. Bye. I love you, Rosie the fish fishy i love you so much i also want to say that it was cool seeing fishy recognize me so like every time i'd go near the fishbowl um he would swim towards me and then he would um already know that it was time to eat and then i just put the food in, and then he would just eat it i just want to say that fishy was literally me in a fish form i would literally be a blue fish and he was by himself because male betas can't um, be
be around other fish, otherwise they'll like attack each other. Um, and if you've ever seen the movie 101 Dalmatians, um, you'll know that uh, the pets in the movie look like their owners and literally fishy look like me. Like, I hide from people. Yeah, I'm mostly by myself and Fishy lit was literally by himself with like hiding behind the Santa statue and everything and yeah. <laughs> Let's see if my fish will like these Swedish fish candies. <laughs> Rest in peace, fishy. Swim on. <laughs> 